Hey there, I'm making this video because I haven't found a lot of information relating to the adjustment of the cam bolts for wheel alignments and toe in toe out on the oh, specifically Black Series Patron camper trailers, but in a lot of camper trailers uh, altogether, there are other tutorials on adjustments and wheel alignments and cambers and adjustments and bits and pieces, but um, the particular cam bolts that are fitted to these trailers uh, there wasn't a lot of information I could find. So I thought I'd just do a quick run through and uh, walk you through the adjustments that I've made. I actually got under this morning and have just found that the actual camber adjustment bolt is actually loose. So it's caused a lot of premature wear. Um, I thought perhaps there might've been an issue relating to the suspension, but I think that's actually all right. The issue that I've got is actually just the alignment. So I've confirmed that with a few measurements and I'll walk through what that looks like. So what you can see here is a lot of this cupping, which is actually occurring on the inside track. And I think I've caught it kind of early enough. It is still pretty noticeable, but uh, hopefully I've caught it early enough and can fix the alignment issue before the tire completely degrades. Some of the things that can cause uh, premature tire wear on the inside or outside of the tire, um, most commonly it's on the inside of the tire. Uh, it could be anything from like a bent axle stub, uh, bolts coming loose, the alignment losing itself. Um, poor suspension can cause the trailer to bounce unnecessarily or significantly heavy loads can actually weigh it down and um, essentially bow the wheels out at the bottom causing an internal tire wear uh, prematurely so a few things to look out for but in this case um, it's actually going to be a loose bolt that's causing the problem so this is our trailer it's a black series 2020 uh, patron we actually picked it up the end of 2019 but it's the 11th anniversary edition done quite a few mods on it but um, yeah it's been good to us it's been great we've looked after it and slept over nearly 100 nights in it now so we've we certainly gets its work out and gets a use both on and off road just want to preface this saying oh look i'm not a mechanic i've been a push bike mechanic but that doesn't apply to cars <laughs> um i'm not a mechanic i guess i have learnt a few things along the way uh followed a few youtube tutorials myself i am gonna eventually get this to a proper caravan servicing uh, mob or a truck alignment company to do a full balance uh, wheel alignment and toe in toe out correction uh, but look the purpose of this was just to try and correct this before I duck off on holiday and uh, prevent any more premature tyre wear. So some of the tools you're going to need for this are ideally two 24mm spanners or sockets um, you're going to have to hold both sides at once at some point a torque wrench if you can anything up to about 120 newton meters or bigger ideally and uh, a level ideally a digital level if you can get one it gives you a far more accurate reading and a straight piece of metal to try and cover a uh, flat on flat surface on the wheel face itself so in this exercise i've gone from the flat edge on the top of the rim to the flat edge on the bottom of the rim before we make any adjustments, I'm actually gonna measure what the angle of the tire is relative to a 90 degree or ideal um, running track. Now that I've got the level and the metal you know, represented evenly on both sides of a flat surface, you can actually see here that this is significantly uh, off 90 degrees. I've taken a measurement using a digital scale, a digital level and it actually sits nearly three degrees off that's a fair way off and that's what's causing the issue with the tire wear so i'm going to adjust that and try and bring it as far back to center as i can there's two bolts in each um, rear sway arm or suspension arm the first outside bolt is for the uh, camber adjustment and the inside bolt is for the toe in toe out adjustment I'll show you what they look like when you actually make those adjustments. The two bolts in here are a um, 24 mil nut on the inside, essentially that's a locking nut. And this cam bolt here rotates as you turn it and that adjusts the swing arm up and down, which in turn adjusts the 
uh, internal and external uh, alignment of the wheel itself. So when I came in to check this, I noticed that the actual washer on the inside here was actually just loose, it was flapping. Because they're a, a lock or a nylock nut, they actually, the nut's very good at actually staying on, but you'll notice it was actually uh, still relatively firm to turn. It had just worked its way out a bit. Um, so that was obviously what's been causing my issue. So I'm gonna start by loosening this off so then I can adjust the cam bolt. It only has to be just loose, unlocked. Now, this is a 24 mil um, bolt or head on the end of this bolt. This is the cam bolt. And when I adjust this up and down, you'll see how it rotates in its own bushing. So what you see, but when I twist this bolt, the trailing arm's actually gonna angle down, but in fact, what it's doing is lifting the trailer up and aiming to correct this wheel angle. So you'll see it twist down. There's actually a bit of pressure there. So what I'm gonna do is lock the nut off there and just reset my uh, breaker bar. Just made another adjustment and you can see the bolt is now making its way down towards the bottom of its rotation. I'm just gonna check the angle of the wheel and see if that's improved the alignment. So it's ideal to use a digital level if you can. It's gonna give you a lot more accuracy. But what I've seen already now is that this level is improving, but it still has a fair way to go. So I'm just gonna make another adjustment and rotate this cam bolt a bit further around towards the bottom of its rotation. Okay, so I've rotated that bolt all the way around to the bottom. And what you'll see now is that the level is far more uh, centered than it was. Now I'm gonna take a digital scale reading but because I'm shooting this on the phone, it's, uh, I can't do two things at once. But uh, I hope that it's certainly improved out from the three and a half mil that it was at the start. The three and a half degrees, sorry. So with this cam bolt now adjusted all the way to the bottom, it's improved the uh, alignment of this wheel by nearly three and a half degrees. It was uh, about three and a half degrees to the negative, so angling in towards the trailer when we started, and now it's sitting at 0.6 of a degree. So it's almost 90 degrees, which look, I'm pretty happy with. Uh, I'm gonna run with that. We've got about an hour and a half drive at Easter and that's probably gonna, we'll see how the wear and tear goes, but I think that's probably gonna be okay as a bit of a test run. If it needs further alignment, I'm going to uh, double check that uh, as we go and book it in for a service if necessary. Now that we've made that adjustment, I'm gonna tighten this all up. The Cruise Master systems, which are a very similar looking system in terms of the design, uh, use about 190 newton meters of torque which is pretty significant uh but these are a pretty major arm and uh hold the trailer together so i'm gonna work off that i would encourage anybody to uh feed me back what the actual torque settings are but look i'm going to basically do it up as tight as i can get it and uh keep an eye on it make sure there's free movement and listen for any squeaks and stuff once we sort of get on the road I'm actually maxing out at around 120 newton meters. I can't get any more pull on that bolt. This is one that was still setting nice and tight when I arrived from factory. That's still maxing out at about 120 as well. So I think that might be the limit of where they're going. The Cruise Master system might actually use a lot higher torque setting. So I hope you found it useful and um, yeah, fills a gap in some of the knowledge base that we all may have been missing out on. All right, cheers.